Hey, what's up, guys? So, up next, we got a request from Driplix Media. This is Omezi the God, uh, AO Dax. Now, apparently, this is a Dax diss track. Now, what I want to know, how in the hell are you going to make a diss track against Dax? That's not smart. Let's see if this is enough to poke the bear. <laughs> it just might be. You, you just might have knocked on the wrong door. Hey, let's see what you got here. Let's go. Every morning, you have two choices. Continue to sleep with your dreams or wake up and chase them. Hello. I, uh... Go by Omizi to God. I'm a rapper. <laughs> but uh, Dax, I heard your next rap God too, man. It's the hardest shit I heard in a minute. For what it's worth, I'm a lyricist as well, and that track kind of reminded me uh, of the mission at hand, you know? So. Nah, th this ain't a diss. <laughs> this ain't me clout chasing either. Nah. It's just me saying thank you for being a voice for the artist like me. Hey, you told me this was a diss track on Dax. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, if this is really uh, what I think it, what he's saying right here, uh, I'm going to like this a lot more. You know, I went into this thinking this was going to be, you know, another one of these clout chasers, you know, just trying to, you know, get a little bit of fame and fortune by, you know, trash talking on somebody who's way better than they are. You know, I've seen it happen quite a few times and it usually doesn't work out for them. So. I hope he's being real right now, because if not, then I'm going to be even harder on him. If he's got my hopes up thinking this is going to be uh, a tribute to Dax, right? And then he turns around and, and changes it and then says, oh, no, I'm just kidding. This is a diss track. Hey, I'm going to be really hard on him if that happens. I don't think it will. But, so far, I think this is going to be a legitimate tribute to Dax. Which is going to be badass if that's what it is. So, let's keep going. Let's see. The beat on this thing's going crazy, too. Uh, you know, I, I went into this thinking this was going to be like that young Shade guy. Just horrible. You know? And this guy's not even really started rapping yet. But the way he's talking in sync with the beat is making me think this guy is a damn good rapper. Okay. Uh, so far, he's got the, the cadence down. His cadence is matching the beat. And that's something that's so important when you're rapping. If you can rap and make it sync up with the beat you know and when the beat gets harder and it goes faster and your cadence goes right along with it okay that's how you know this this guy knows how to rap let's see let's get lyrics back to the mainstream man yeah Hey yo, Dax, don't ever stop spitting in facts. It's time to make a difference because the music is influencing the kids in the way they gon' act, the way they gon' talk, the way they gon' dress, the way they gon' walk, the way they gon' stress. The day become lost, the day become less. I think I'm the answer, this is my test. Yes, damn, has been a long time. Everybody want a crown, I ain't really wanna wait up in a long line. Started up my own line. Everybody said the 90s are over, I'm trying to make it at the wrong time. Everything is online. Then he got the homie Eric and Dino selling CDs at casinos, and yeah, he can make a couple hundred, but it's more for the people. So when they hear it, they can feel it, and they sell in this piece, so you know. And that's a fact Already think about what I be doing after rap Already think about the people that I have impacted That's the aftermath of me having that uh, Dream where I had the plaques And I had a couple multi-platinum tracks In fact, I was a center of attention I was all they ever mentioned But now everybody act like they got cataract They can't see me I knew you would never believe me They 
said I'ma make it off a of rapper. Hey, this dude's bringing the heat right now. You know, dude's rapping his ass off right now. Uh, if he's got more songs, y'all let me know which ones y'all want me to do, right? Because this guy's too good for me not to do his music. You know, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if he's independent, you know, or if he's got a label, you know. So I, I need to be a little bit careful when I'm doing new artists. You know, so there's a way that I'm sort of, you know, checking to see if there's going to be any issues with the videos I do, you know, so I could make sure that when I put them up, they're not going to get strikes, you know, or, uh, or anything like that. So I hope this guy is independent and he's not going to give people any kind of strikes or blocks or anything that would be super dope Crying, sweating and bleeding no i ain't never achieved don't ever show me back because people shady in this world and i know it's a fact hey yo dex hey yo dex hey yo dex you run on a the track then you go run on a track hey yo dex if it wasn't for rap you'd be balling because you got a strap hey yo dex i had to do this because i finally mastered my craft hey yo dex i'll give you your roses right now let me just say congrats hey yo dex hey yo dex hey yo dex hey yo dex hey I think they got to do a song together. You know, I'm, I'm telling you right now, uh, this dude's bringing enough heat to be on the track with Dax. I think so. I think I could see a collab coming with those two, y'all. All right, now. Show you all the way that I'm moving I'm trying to be in the movies with some American beauties I'm about to marry the music I know it's very confusing This shit is very amusing But uh, I, I gotta confess I got a little too excited when my talent is tested I'm an animal mix A little Hannibal Lecter Eating rabbits in my passion Cause they sweeter than nectar Hold up I wanna be the one that's running my city And if you're not a lyricist Don't even come to my city I just become a man I'm trying to have some fun in my city Hey, that bar was gross <laughs> Hey, I caught that bar I don't catch a lot of them because I don't know a lot of the references that they use. You know, but when I do catch them, like that one right there, I'm like Hannibal Lecter, I eat rappers. Ugh. That's just gross. <laughs> They ain't gon' never forget me, they gon' forever respect me, it egg. I hope you get to hear this song, cause tax. I'm like a locomotive when you put me on a track But I'm about to listen to your songs relax But these are my last words, have you heard? I'm back at your Dax <laughs> Keep doing it Hey, my last words Both of those videos were lit, y'all I'm gonna have to do those Dax has got so much great music You know such a good lyricist he is too and his ability to tell stories uh his ability to take like everyday things right and then use it as a metaphor for real life issues you know like the joker he takes that character and then he tells a story about depression bullying anxiety uh self-harm he talks about all that stuff in there and it, it's just so amazing that he brings that message out you know that bullying kills you know depression kills that kind of thing dude is lit y'all i freaking love dax man Dang, bro i'm listening you see the fire that you set off of me. Oh yeah, one more thing. When you run this back, pay attention. Not one curse word was used in the making of this song. <laughs> yeah. When I'm doing reactions, 
I do not hold my tongue. Okay? I talk just like I do in everyday life. You know? And because of that, I feel like I want to be genuine. You know, when I'm talking to you guys. You know, however, I'm not a politician. I'm not doing, you know, actual news. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm just doing reaction videos. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, and we got a little bit of a dance to at the end, and get this, his dance was in sync with the beat, his rapping was in sync with the beat, this right here is, I'm not going to say it's the best ever, or it's like on par with Dax, but it's close, uh, now of course Dax is way better right but I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this this is a perfect song you know uh, there's only a few elements that he could add and make it like even better you know but he's got a good baseline to start from I'm sure if he keeps working at it now of course he doesn't have to I'm, I'm just saying if he keeps working at it and keeps uh getting better he's gonna be one of the greats he's got that much potential now look if it was young shade i was looking at then i would say more than likely find a new career because <laughs> from what I heard from that one, it, it just didn't work, y'all. It really didn't. This, on the other hand, this was badass. You know, I went into it thinking it was going to be a diss track. Uh, the person that requested it told me this was a diss track. Now, I'm thinking uh, they wanted to see my genuine reaction to it when I realized this is not a diss track. You know, this is a tribute to Dax. He's giving Dax his flowers. Now, of course, I always think that terminology is a little odd because you wouldn't really give a guy flowers. <laughs> you know, but of course, they don't mean it literally, but it's just... You know, uh, of course I understand that. It's a figure of speech. You know, it means that they're giving them their props. They're showing them respect for the accomplishments that they've done. Right? That's what it essentially means. It's not, it doesn't mean they're literally giving them flowers. <laughs> that would be a little weird. Right? Like, if I was in their shoes, I'd be like, hey, don't give me flowers. That's not going to, you know, make me feel good. That's going to make me feel weird and awkward, right? <laughs> so, you know, but you could show me some respect and, and give me props for the stuff that I've done. That's all good. You can do that all you want. I don't want any flowers, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, all right, y'all. I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, I'm out.